700,000 trucker convoy heading to Texas. We're hearing a lot about it. There's a lot of rumble about it. You know, everybody's getting fired up. They're, they're supporting it. They're wanting to head down there. But one thing I want everybody to understand is there is probably not even 700,000 independent truckers in America any, anymore. Most truck drivers drive for a company. You know, they drive for Walmart or Swift or any of the other major trucking companies, right? They're not independent. They don't own their own rigs. They drive for somebody else. I don't see how they can get that many truckers down there. Now, if the truckers do get down there, are they going to operate in close to the border? What are they going to do when they get there, right? Are they going to set up right along the border and park their trucks? Are they going to set up somewhere away from it and try to block roads going into the border for the federal government? You know, when they try to come in to cut the razor wire, we don't know. But one thing I want to make clear is I don't think there's going to be 700,000 vehicles that head down there. I may be wrong on that, and if I am, I'll come back on here and say I'm wrong. But I keep seeing everybody, you know, getting fired up saying 700,000 truckers, 700,000 truckers. That's not going to happen. You're not going to see that many truckers down there simply because they drive for a company. A company is not going to allow their truck to do that, you know. They're not, unless they drive for some independent owner who is not your major trucking company owner. You understand what I'm saying? Like they're, they're not Walmart or Swift or something like that. You know, it's a little mom and pop business that has a couple of trucks and they allow those trucks to go down there. That's the only ones we'll see there. Another thing is it's not going to affect shipping that much. It's really not because of company drivers company drivers are going to keep hauling that freight we're in a recession a lot of people don't understand that we are in a recession truck drivers can't afford to set for weeks at a time to feed if they're feeding their family they can't afford it they can't you know you got to think back to the, the big trucker convoy across the usa that went to washington dc they predicted it to be this huge convoy and it kind of turned out to a nothing burger you know they wound up they were going to park here and here and block this and that, right? Well, no, they just wound up riding in circles. Texas, totally different situation. I understand that. But is it good that the truckers are standing up for Texas? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's awesome, right? But these numbers are overinflated to pump fear into society by mainstream media. You know, you got people thinking, oh, these truckers are going to come. They're, they watch these old trucker movies from the 70s, right, where the... The truckers, they pull up into the town and they just, you know, they're the rough, tough guys, right? Trucking industry's not like that anymore. It's really not. I, you know, you still have your small group of them. A lot of my family grew up driving, when I was growing up, drove trucks. You know, they were the rough, tough ones in the 70s and 80s and then about the 90s and then 2000 and into now. You know, you, you've got a totally different breed of truck driver. You really do. You have a totally different breed. There's still some old school truck drivers out there. Don't get me wrong. But it's, these numbers are being overinflated to put fear into to people that get worried about stuff like that, right? You know, 700,000 trucks going to, t that would be awesome, wouldn't it? I mean, could you imagine how long that line would be? That would be awesome to see that. But the sad fact is there's not going to be that many trucks there. You know, maybe you have... 400,000 independent truck drivers in the USA and Canada, you know, maybe total. Now, if they all came and their wives or whatever, their family members drove a vehicle with the trucks, you know, yeah, you could get up to 700,000 vehicles. But I want to see what's going to happen with this. Are they actually going to show up? How many trucks are actually going to be there? We're at a point, I told you, we're at a point in America where we can't just... I've told you before, when it comes to grocery prices, the only way to, to drop the grocery prices is for at least three to six months, people would have to quit buying groceries, right? But we're not in a position to do that. For every citizen to quit buying, we're not in that position. It's the same thing with these truckers heading down there. There's not that many truckers that can afford to set for a week at a time. There's just not, because they've got bills to pay too. They have the truck payments, they have house payments, they have medical bills, they gotta buy groceries, they gotta buy school supplies, they got you know, they got bills to pay. There's not gonna be that many trucks down there. So maybe they will be and I'll be wrong and I'll come back on here and say I'm wrong. But right now any support that can go to Texas would be awesome, right?
but I'm still not sure that the play down here at Texas what it is because why is it just now an issue and it hasn't been this huge of an issue over the past few years right just now it's an issue we got election season could that be playing into it I've told you before all these politicians as much as they bicker and argue in front of us behind closed doors they're patting each other on the back and they're shaking each other's hands like we got them we got them you know a lot of this is smoke and mirrors but let's see what turns out of this let me know your thoughts do you think 700,000 truckers or 700,000 vehicle convoy is going to show up in Texas I think it's supposed to be February 3rd when they show up I may be wrong on that date but somebody will correct me on here let me know your thoughts on this comment on this video Keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. Stay safe. And let's see what happens down here with this trucker convoy. Maybe 700,000 vehicles will show up. Maybe. We'll see. Stay safe.